Never County Railway has been getting some problems today, with the game being absolutely unplayable with no ability to spawn on all roles. A lot of confusion has been going on in the community, and there's nothing you can blame it on except Roblox. In other news, GCR has been hiding a few things, some big stuff, such as a new major station and class 121s, and quite and stuff, reaching up to the completion of all buses for the update and some extra features as well. That's what's coming on tonight's Roblox Transport News. Welcome to the second broadcast of Roblox Transport News this week. My name is Pangtastic. First of all, SCR has been getting some trouble today with their game, making it completely unplayable. A few hours ago, you could not drive, spawn, guard, or even become a passenger. This is not SCR's fault, since it's caused by some outrages on Roblox. The dev team has not made a statement about this, but it seems like this error is completely out of control for them. To support that they can't really control it, one of the platform managers said some trainings have to get cancelled due to unforeseen outages at Roblox. During the time when it was impossible to play, the player count was approximately 200 players. Honestly, I am quite surprised. It is way lower than usual than a few hundreds, but the fact that you literally can't do anything in the game other than looking at the main menu, it just makes sense that the game should literally have no players in it. I guess fanboys are still addicted just by being in the game. It has been resolved with the spawning, mostly, but it's still quite not a good time to play the game since the trains are starting to get all glitchy now, as you can see through these screenshots. Well, that's all the info for SCR. Let's move on to some dev updates. We now know the reason why GCR has been pulling out some of the more updates and not much activity overall. From this preview, we're about to show. Timelot posted a preview two days ago with some map development. He said this is why we haven't been posting progress for a while, as we wanted to get it right. And let me say, it was worth the wait with two photos. The first photo shows a new station called... Codham? I mean, I do see more of an E than an A, but that's my guess from this pixelated portion here. It seems like it seems to be an old station with a statue next to it, putting some lore behind it. And other than that, you can see a class 419 in the distance. And yeah, pretty good looking. The second photo shows a train. I think it's a class 73 on a platform. Um, it could be on the same station we looked at, an existing station or even another new one. I can't really answer that question since I don't play GCR much. Apart from Ty Woods announcement, we also got Doc's development stuff as well. He hasn't posted in a while, so let's see what he has for us. Now, we got 121s up here. Uh, he is apparently also making 122s, 117s, 68 revamps, and some class 88s. But yeah, overall, the game's progress is looking sleek. Quite quirky to say, but yeah, it is a way to describe it. Finally, Croydon. For some reason, I forgot to show you all the previews ever since 20th of April. Honestly, I thought nothing happened, but here we are. Let's catch up to this, shall we? First of all, a company stop list is now available. You can now start planning your routes out for the update. Lovely to hear. Second, four new Enviro 400s for our Witva, most of which were left out previously. Next, some E400 facelifts, very nice. And here's another set of Enviro 400 hybrids, this type of quarry croach, and some buses for Goraway. Now before we go to the last bus for the update, we also publish a change to the main game that is trialing different ways of passenger management. So as of now, players will no longer be able to collide with a moving bus, meaning players not sitting will just slide off rather than slowing your bus down. And you can also disable all seats in your bus and set whitelist to who can go on. This has now been active for two days now. And finally, the final bus is a quote-unquote tomato hybrid. That makes 65 new buses coming to version 1.3. The update is starting to get really close to the official release. Now, before we go off, I left a little preview from Victoria Line as well. So here's Flamingo in its natural habitat. Apart from that, that concludes today's RTN. Thank you for watching and have a great night.